Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Thank you, y'all, for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? It's my pleasure. Nice to have you. It's nice to meet you. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Just give me a minute while I get the presentation for you. Okay, so we can start working on today's um, class. So thank you so much for being here. Let me show you what we're going to do. As you may know, this is pre-intermediate English module number three. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to this, uh, let's say, module. Okay, and it's nice to have you one more time thank you so much i got some of you already i think andrea esmeralda i already uh, made you before which is it's nice to have you one more time welcome welcome okay let's begin with this um information that we have for this much okay so uh as you may know we're gonna work with this is my uh, personal information and mr palomo and I'm gonna be in charge of this uh, module. Yes, uh, I'm an ESL teacher, and I'm an I have let's say this accreditation with Insafor as as a facilitator. And pretty much what I do is I just teach English. I think I'm a, I don't know teenagers, children, adults. Yes, yeah, so that's that's what I do here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Francisco, about it. Maybe that's your internet connection. Okay. Let me know if you're still having this inconvenience. Okay. Yes. Uh, what about the rest? Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Do you hear my voice, Oscar? Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Oh, yes. Nice. Thank you so much for letting yes, me know. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so Francisco, that's probably your internet connection that is having that that issue. Okay, I hope you can fix that. Okay, so again, so this is who I am. I'm an ESL teacher and I'm gonna be here helping you on this thing that is called learning English, okay? Um, some information about this one. Don't forget that we have tareas and evaluaciones, right? See? Eh, aquí, pues, sí pedirles, right, usted, pues, ya sabe cómo trabaja inglés corporativo en la plataforma, pues, se le asignan a usted las actividades las cuales usted debe desarrollar según la semana que se vaya haciendo, right. Sí le recomiendo, pues, que siempre esté al día. Sí le recomiendo, pues, que cualquier inconveniente que tenga, ya sea problemas con la plataforma, algún inconveniente con algún ex exercise, siéntase, pues, con la libertad de... Solicitar el apoyo en el grupo que está asignado de WhatsApp o pues si tiene algún inconveniente pues o tiene pena escribirlo ahí, escríbame pues en privado o ya sea a mí o al técnico para pues que le podamos a, pues, apoyar y solventar. Todo tiene solución, bien, en esta vida, right? Y esto pues es una de las cosas que tiene solución. Entonces usted solo no nos comunica pues para nosotros poder apoyarle lo más pronto posible, right? Sí, así que sí pedirles a todos con las asignaciones que están en la plataforma, pues que las realicen, sí, según pues la semana se les vaya indicando. Por ejemplo, para esta semana tenemos two sections, right? Section one and section two para esta semana. Entonces, sí pedirle pues que desde ya pues empiece a realizar las actividades. Luego tenemos en la semana number uh, two, tenemos section three and there is a midterm here. En la semana number three tenemos la section number four. Y en la semana number four tenemos la section number five. And there is a final exam. Yes. Sí pedirle que se mantenga, pues, uh, más que todo que vaya adelantando siempre. Vaya siempre adelantando en las actividades, right, que están en la plataforma. Sí. Para, pues, que no se atrase con la entrega de, de las actividades. Yes. Uh, porque, pues, De eso depende mucho, right? Y de la asistencia, pues, a las clases. Depende mucho, pues, uno de su aprendizaje y otro, pues, es del, pues, del diploma que se le asigna. 
actividad, pues las normas de convivencia, eh, pedirles que mantengan el botón en silencio cuando ingresen, ¿verdad? Y durante la clase. Um, la lista de asistencia, pues yo la voy a tomar a las y media, a las, siempre a las y media, a las media hora después de que comencemos la clase. Sí, eh, pedirle que ponga su nombre completo, ¿verdad? En Zoom. Igual yo cuando le pase lista voy a mencionar your full name y usted pues contesta, dice present or I'm here. Yes. La cámara encendida, sí, para estar viendo your beautiful faces, right? Sí, pedirle que la encienda, sí, uh, right? Yo voy a, voy a tener la mía encendida durante toda la jornada, yes. Así que pedirle igual que usted pues mantenga ahí, right? Si quiere ponerle pues un background ahí que está, right? Like... En la playa, right, la costa del sol, el sol, viendo el amanecer o el atardecer, right, do it, right, pero sí pedirle que la mantenga encendida, right. Eh, igual pedirle la participación, yo les voy a pedir participation y aquí en esta clase todos estamos aprendiendo, right. Entonces sí pedirle, no tenga miedo de equivocarse, no tenga miedo de, pues, de cometer algún, algún error con alguna pronunciación o con algún, pues, algo gramatical, sí, usted... Cuando le pida participation, please do it. Ok. Hágalo. Y es cuando vayamos a los breakout rooms, aproveche el tiempo y practique. Right? Escuche a sus compañeros cómo pronuncian las palabras. Sí, cuando ponga los videos, cuando ponga los audios, las conversations, usted en casa, mire con el micrófono apagado, you listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Ok. Yes. No tenga miedo. Esta hora que vamos a tener de clase, aprovechela al máximo. Right? Sí. Participe, practique, repita at home, so you can que agarre confianza, right? Sí, esto es como jugar soccer. Entre más jugamos a la pelota, pues más confianza, right? De meter el gol. So, this is the way here. Entre más usted, esa frase, sí, salude a su casa, right? A su esposo, a su esposa, diga, hello, good morning. Are you happy? It's nice to see you. Here is your breakfast, sí. Cuando va a regañar a sus hijos, ¿vale? Right? Ahí utilice English. Right? Please be quiet, ¿ok? Yes, ¿vale? Right? Use the English language. Y uso del chat, acorde pues a lo que estamos viendo, ¿vale? Right? Siempre pedirles el respeto y um, pues pedirle que el chat lo ocupemos para eh, relacionado con lo de la clase. Eh, levantar la mano cuando quiera participar, ¿sí? Levante la mano y espera que yo con gusto le doy la participación. Yes, right. Um, eh, siempre mantener el respeto a los compañeros ante las opiniones y las participaciones de cada uno de ellos igual apoyémonos right? los unos a los otros ¿sí? ayude y déjese ayudar yes right on this one very good uh, generalidades acerca del, del módulo tenemos recordar la asistencia así no se pierdan las clases pues porque esas son importantes para pues eh, mantener lo que es el, el módulo, ¿sí? Si usted no asiste, pues se le va restando. La participación es algo very important here. Avance en el desarrollo de, la, pues, de las actividades, otros. Tiene que ir avanzando y presentando las actividades, pues que se le asigna. Sí, le sugiero que vaya siempre adelante, vaya, vaya siempre adelante haciendo las actividades. El inicio es el día de hoy, 30 de octubre, y vamos a finalizar para el 30 de noviembre, ¿sí? En el horario, pues, que siempre es de, de 9 a 10 de la noche, ¿ok? Tener la cámara encendida otra vez, y la duración es de 60 minutos, ¿sí? Yo les comentaba que el tiempo que usted permanece, pues, here en Zoom cuenta, ¿sí? Y, pues, pedirle que se mantenga siempre en el time. ¿Sí? Siempre manténgase el tiempo pues que se le asigna. Igual otra vez recalcamos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Sí lo recalcamos bastante porque son pues el avance que usted va presentando. Y, es, y, y sí, me, me disculpa en ese aspecto, pero pues sí le voy a estar recordando siempre. Vamos avanzando en los exercises. ¿Por qué? Pues porque al final todo lo que usted hace pues va para este diploma. Y sí los felicito, sí los felicito a todos pues por el esfuerzo que están haciendo. Yo sé que es difícil. Right. Yo sé que, pues, que es cansado eh, right. estar estudiando, trabajando, las asignaciones um, en casa como padre o como madre. Right. Eh, y sí sé que cuesta. Right. Por lo cual los felicito y sí los motivo right, pues, a dar pues, lo mejor. Right. Sí. 
a cuando nos toque trabajar, pues a trabajar y cuando nos toque descansar, pues we can rest, ya, yeah, right, so that's the way. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, yes, antes que comencemos. Any question about it? No. Okay, perfect. I'm going to switch to English. We're going to work with section number one. Is a very excited place. Adverbs before adjectives. That is the topic for today. And this is pre-intermediate English module number three, class number one. And Mr. Palomo, and it's my pleasure to be here with you, helping you on this thing that is called learning English. Okay. Also, I, I would like to say like, si su micrófono no funciona o tiene algún inconveniente o está trabajando y solo está de oyente, ¿sí? escriba siempre en el chat para que quede registro. Right? Ahí en el chat, aquí en Zoom, me escribe, please. Right? Escríbame, mister, mire, voy a estar aquí. Sí, solo paying attention, right? Yes, porque estoy haciendo unas, unos 300 dólares de horas extras, but, yes, mire, aquí estoy, right? Cumpliendo, yes. So, me escribe en el chat, so I can have it, ¿ok? Si no hay questions, vamos a empezar con esto que se llama Let's know some information about you, ¿ok? We have some double H questions and yes, no questions. Usted las lee, las contesta, ¿ya? Yeah, así, this is the way we're going to work. You read the questions and you answer the questions, Yes. Si no entiende something... Igual, la clase la voy a dar en inglés, siempre, right? Pero si usted no entiende algo, tenga la confianza de escribirme en el chat, levante la mano y me diga, excuse me, mister, mire, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. No, no lo entendí ahí, right? Ya leí, right? Sí. Tenga la confianza de preguntar, right? Escribe en el chat o pues levante la mano y con gusto, pues, eh, aunque sea Spanglish ahí, pero voy a, voy a ver, tratar de apoyarla ahí lo más que pueda. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's wonderful. Okay, we're gonna have with gentlemen. We're gonna have these boys first. Let's begin, Oscar. Okay, Oscar, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Please go ahead. Where do you live? What do you do? Yes, you need to read the question and answer the question, please. Okay, where do you live? I live in Anamara. It's a small, con uh, small town located in La Unión. That's far. What do you do? I'm a doctor. Oh, Why are you studying English? Uh, because I, <laughs> I like that language. And to make a specialty in the future. Please do it because we need those, yeah. okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, what about this one, please? Do you speak another language, Oscar? No, just Spanish. Okay. Um, basic English, I think. Oh, no, you're doing it very good. Yeah. Number Are two. you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you have... Any children? No, I don't. Because you're saving, right, for the specialty you're going to have. Mm -hmm. You're saving yeah. the money so you can... Oh, it's, it's, not, it's nice to meet you, okay? Uh, Thank you. Yeah, and my respect to you because being a doctor is not a piece of cake. You don't have an option for mistakes, so you, you don't do mistakes, right? Yes, so... Okay. Uh, yeah, so and in this in this is is quite hard. Also, you live in Anamoros, which is like La Union. You told me. Uh I went I went to the beach that is called Las Tunas. That is very like far. Yeah. 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 So that's very far. I was like it, it, it took forever to get there. Yeah, but that's beautiful beach. It's a beautiful beach. Thank you, Oscar. Nice to meet you. Mer thank you. Marvin, thank you, Marvin. You're next. Can you? Marvin, yes. Okay. Oh, you need to uh, read the questions, Marvin, and then answer. 
can you hear me? Yes, nice and clear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was problem with my microphone. Oh, that's okay. Well, I got some of them first, as well. Well, first one, I feel very happy to be here. And nice to meet you, everybody. And I hope to learn this new, for example, I hope to learn about this amazing language. And the first question is where where do where do you live? I live in San Sebia Nuevo, La Libertad. What do you do? I work. And why are you studying English? I study English because, for example, in my case, I like it. Also, in the future, I would like to be a professional person. And you know, when you speak English very well, you have more opportunity. Also, you receive more money, right? <laughs> and that is the reason that I I am here studying English. And the next question is, do you speak any other language? Only I speak Spanish and English. Are you married? I am not married. Do you have any children? I don't have children. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Marvin. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Francisco, you're, you're next. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Do you lie? I lie in the district of Silanga, Morazan. Um, what did you do? I am a teacher of STM. Natural uh, times, science, 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 mm. university, physical, how say Excuse me. Yes, yes, physical. Oh, oh, uh, physics. So just physics, exactly. Just physics. University, um, biology. Uh, why are you studying English? I am studying English for my favorite. Second language um, interesting for me. What about this one? Do you do you speak another language? Repeat, so please. The, this question: Do you speak an any other languages? Uh, um, English. Okay. My favorite I... language is English. Are, are you married? Are you married, Francisco? Okay. Okay. Oh, number two, are, are you married? Like Casado, are you married? Uh, okay. Uh, I, 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 I'm ready. Yes. Oh, very good. Do you have yes. Do you have any children? How many children? Uh, yes. How many children? One, two, three. One. Oh, one. Uh, one. One boy, one girl. Oh, so you have two children, a boy children. and a girl. Okay. What yes. is what is her name? Um, my here, my daughter is Rosmi Angeli. Oh, what about what about your son? My son is uh, Francisco Arac. Oh, okay. That's that's like you, right? Yes, that's like you. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, yeah. Francisco. Welcome. Nice to meet you too, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, let me see. We have another one, Jose Mendez. Thank you. Go ahead, Jose Mendez. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Edgar Mendez. Uh, I am 25 years old. I live in San Salvador, Panchimalco, Planet de Rendero. Uh, I study in the seminar de Teoyo El Salvador. I work in construction. Uh, uh, I study English in Salvador. Uh, only that. 
Do you speak any other languages? Uh, I speak Spanish and English. <laughs> I, uh, Are you married? Uh, uh, no, I'm married. <laughs> Soltero, right? Single. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You're saving money. Okay, yes. what about? Do you have any children? No, I don't have children. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. The children are expensive. No, yeah, I, children. <laughs> I, Very good. It's nice to I meet want, you. I want to study in the, oh. in the university. Oh, that's very nice. The next oh. year. <laughs> yes, yes, you need to save money. You need to save money. So if you have children, uh, no university, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. And there was a lady yeah, who used teacher. to say... Uh, uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice licenciatura en idioma inglés? Oh, we don't have that. We don't have that. The only thing that we have is bachelor, bachelor degree. Yes. So, for example, oh, I say okay. I have a bachelor degree in English. I have a bachelor degree in law. Yes. Y no tenemos la palabra licenciado, right? Oh. Como en Spanish tenemos la licenciada, sino que es un bachelor degree. Yeah, that's the way they call it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I I learn I learn English, French, oh. Italian. No sé cómo se dice. Italian, Italian. Italian. Uh -huh. Oh, that's very yes. good. Yeah. And in, in, yes. It's nice to meet you, Jose. Okay, this is my pleasure. Thank you so much for being nice here. Nice to meet you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Um, let me see. Um. Okay, this is where we girls. Let's meet Sana then. Okay, what about Irma? Thank you, Irma. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Um, where I live in La Libertad. Um, I am ama de casa. Housewife. Uh, because it's necessary um, my life. In, and no, no, I don't know language. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Mary. Happy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, children. Three, three children. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for sharing. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sebastiana Guadalupe, thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Um, where do you live? I live in Ilopango, San Salvador. What do you do? I am a doctor. Why are you studying English? Um, well, uh, I need to, to win extra money in the future. Um, do you speak any other languages? No, I don't. Are you married? Yes, I am. And do you have any children? Yes, I have two daughters. It's my pleasure, Sebastiana. Yes, and again, my respect to you. Okay, welcome. It's nice to have you. Ana Isela. Oh, your last name, I love it. I don't know how to pronounce that. How do you pronounce your last name? Ana Isela. Yes, yes. Y your last name? How do you pronounce yes. your last name? Janis. Oh, okay. Thank you. Nice to Janice. meet you. Janis. Nice you. to meet you too. Please, go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ana Isela Janis Angel. Um, I do you live in San Miguel? What do you do? I'm a lawyer and a teacher in university. Uh, why are studying English? Uh, it's a very interesting language. Do you speak any other language? No, only Spanish and learning English. Uh, are you married? Yes, I am. Uh, do you have any children? Yes, two children. Oh, very good. Okay. Do you like this weather, Anna? Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you like this weather? Um. No. Not really. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about it. Nice to meet you. Okay, welcome. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Kathy Jordana 
dos cruces. Nice to have you. Thank you. Please go ahead. Hello, nice to meet you. Um, where do you live? I live in Hukuapa City in Usulutan. What do you do? I'm an architect, a student. Uh, I'm at my fifth year at the university. Uh, why are you studying English? Because I like to learn languages. Uh, do you speak any other languages? No, but I would like I would like to learn Japanese. Are you married? No, I don't. Do you have any children? No, I don't. Thank you so much, Kathy. It's nice to have you one more time. Oh, sorry. It's the first thing. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. I apologize. Welcome, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. You're next. Go ahead. Good evening. Um, my name is Catherine. And where do you live? I'm living in Sacacoyo, La Libertad. What do you do? And currently, I just studying at Technical About Students. And why are you studying English? Because I need to get new opportunities to work. And do you speak any other language? No, just my native language, Spanish, and learning English. Are you married? No. And do you have any children? No, I don't have. Thank you so much Thank for sharing. And it's nice to meet you, okay? Welcome to this module number three, which is pretty intermediate. Uh, Roberto, Carlos, thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. Excuse me. I don't, I don't hear you. Do you hear Roberto? Yes. Do you hear Roberto? Because I, I don't hear I don't hear you, Roberto. There is something happening with with my device, but I don't I don't hear you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. I apologize, but I, I don't hear you. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I don't I don't hear you. I think that's probably my my device. Yes. Okay. So I'm sorry. And it's nice to meet you, Roberto. Okay. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to pick another one. I'm sorry. Um, Jose Mendez. Hello, Jose. Hello, Jose. No. Okay. Catherine Nicole. Hello. Kath good evening. Thank you. Please go ahead. Um, where do you live? I live in San Salvador with my family, my parents, and my mother. What do you do? I work in English. Why are you studying English? I study English because I like language. Do you speak another language? No, I don't. Are you married? No. I... I'm 20 years old. Do you have any children? No. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you, Catherine. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for being here. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Andrea. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present. Present, nice. teacher. Oh. Nice to have you. Please, Diana, go ahead. Okay. Okay, my name is Diana Melendez. Where do you live? I live in San Jose Guayabal, Cusco. Why do you do study English? Because I like so much this language and this a uh, good opportunity. And do you speak another language? Um, in this moment, I also speak social English and I speak Spanish. Are you married? No, in this moment, I am single. Do you have a children? No, I don't have children. Um, what do you do study? Yes, I am study in at Interfor. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you so much, Anna Ruth. Hello. 
Hello. Thank you. Please go ahead. Uh, where do you live? I live in Zaragoza. What do you do? I'm working. What are you studying English? Mm, to have other opportunities? Do you speak any other language? Only Spanish? Are you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you have any children? Yes, I have a girl. Hola. I'm sorry, I was muted. I apologize. What do you do, Anna? I'm sorry. I'm work. I'm work only. Oh, yes, but like, what is your profession or occupation or let's say, like... And in marketing. Oh, that's very good. Okay. Is that difficult or easy? Um... Mm. <laughs> difficult <laughs> oh, oh, I, I love the way you did it like <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's like please please don't do that okay <laughs> oh that was very good thank you so much it's nice to meet you okay thank you so much for being here welcome everybody um um dijeron que 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 sí siempre pues sí sí llama mucho la atención es eh la iniciativa de buscar algo mejor, right? ¿Sí? Alguien por ahí siempre me recomendó, siempre va a haber algo mejor, siempre. Nunca deje de buscar algo mejor, porque siempre hay algo mejor para uno, right? Which is good, yes, which is good. Mientras estemos vivos y con salud, pa'lante, ¿ok? Very good, ¿ok? So it's nice to meet you. I will take the attendance, so please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here, yes? Minutes. I need to get your names. Okay. Uh, Anna, Isabel, Janes, Angel. I'm here. Thank Is you. So Isela. Jesus Christ. Isela, right? Isela. Anna, Isela, Janes, Angel. I apologize. I'm sorry. Yes. My bad. Anna, Ruth, Perez, Leiva. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Diana, Cristabel, Melendez, Rivera. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Gerardo Jose Tepa Sanchez. I'm here. Nice to have you. Welcome. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuella. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Catherine Zuleima Pocasangre Escobar. Present. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. Is she here? Let me thank check. You, oh, thank you. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Thank you. Um, Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Present, Mr. The gentlemen, good evening. Nice to have you. Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Present. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Thank you so much, Roberto. It's nice Present. to have you. Present. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I hear you. Welcome. Nice to have you. Yeah. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernández. Present. Thank you so much and good evening. And Francisco Valdomar Lopez Martinez. Thank you so much, Francisco. And Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, y'all. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. Okay. All here. Okay. As I told you before, don't forget that this is your class. And here we're going to have I let the conversation. The first one we're going to have is this one. Adjectives. We're going to work with adjectives. Kathy, tell me, Kathy, describe the two pictures, please. This picture and this one. What do you see here? Uh, well, I see 
the beautiful architecture and in the first one eh, eh, está limpio it is y en clean. el otro ajá and in the other one it's um, sucio oh, dirty okay so it's, yes. it's dirty what is the what is the name of this object here how do you call this one? Trash. Trash. Very good. So that is trash right here in this one. And what is the adjective here, Kathy? Ugly. And this one? Beautiful. Which one do you prefer? Beautiful or ugly? <laughs> a beautiful one. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful life, right? Everybody loves that. Thank you so much, Kathy. So we're going to have adjectives here as you may know we have positive adjectives and as you may know like life we have negative adjectives so in life we have positive and negative things right so we need to deal with those so here we have it's quite the same we have adjectives and here we have also adjectives positive and negative okay what are we gonna do first we're gonna pair the adjectives or match the adjectives with the opposite Okay, so for example, what is the opposite of beautiful? Anybody? Ugly. Ugly, right? Exactly, like the, like the soap opera, Ugly Betty, yes? Acuerdan, right? Ugly Betty, yeah? Betty La Fea, no? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, here, right. Oh. <laughs> yes, we have cheap, cheap. What is the, the opposite of cheap? Expensive. Expensive. Exactly, right? Like los terrenos, expensive things. Yeah, you're right. Very difficult to buy one. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah, we're not going to have those. Okay. <laughs> what, <You> about, need... <laughs> what about clean? What does it mean? The, the opposite of clean? Dirty. Oh, How dirty. Do... Or in this How one. How do you say sucio? Dirty. Or we have this one, which is polluted. Mire? Here we have polluted, which is letter F. Oh, Jesus, give me a minute because I did a mistake. Here is that letter D. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. It's going to be a letter D here, and here is going to be letter F. Sucio is dirty, right? Dirty. But here we have polluted because of the context, right? We have, like, I don't know, trash. And trash goes related to polluted, right? So contaminado, right? That's the meaning of this one. Interesting. What is the meaning of interesting? Boring. Oh, boring, boring. Like, like English class, right? Yeah. Maybe a piece of like a teacher, right? And you, yeah, right. It's falling asleep. Okay. What about number five? Quiet. Oh, there is a movie. Noise. Noise, right? Noisy, noisy, quiet. And here we have a noisy. Yes. There is a, yeah, with that two movies with a quiet place. Okay. Relaxing. Like the beach, right? Stressful. Oh, stressful. like stressful. jobs, like jobs or cities, right? Or cities. Sometimes cities are stressful. Very good. Safe. Yes. Dangerous. Oh, like the sound from Michael Jackson. Thank. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah. So safe, like plan control, and then dangerous, like the Michael Jackson sound. Very good. It's spacious. Look at this one. Spacious. Crowd. Crowded. Like if you live in Soyapango, I'm sorry for you, but Plaza Mundo is crowded, right? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, it's crowded. Like a lot of people there, a bunch of cars, like heavy, heavy traffic. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Any question? Everything is good? Teacher. Yep. What is the pronunciation of the boyutio? Oh, what is the letter? Or what is the number? F. Oh, polluted. Polluted. Pol polluted. Exactly. Polluted. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. This is related with contamination. When a city like gets a lot of trash, that is a polluted city, right? It's a smog. No crea que es neblina, right? No. That's smog. Yeah, so you say, oh, look at San Salvador, it's nublado. No, 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 it's cloudy. No, 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 that, 
smog is smog that's polluted city right very good and these adjectives help us to describe the city this is the way we use them right for example if you want to talk about san salvador i can say oh san salvador is a beautiful city we have a lot of stores we have a lot of malls we have a lot of parks so you can go there and rest and have fun and take pictures. We have La Niña Jani, so you can take pictures with her. So it's a beautiful, a beautiful city, right? Yes. Also, San Salvador is dangerous. Yes. People get robbed. So this is a dangerous place. Okay. I mean, we have crazy drivers in San Salvador. Okay crazy drivers so that's dangerous so you need to be uh, careful and you need to be aware of, of the city yeah so what about your city uh-huh Ana Isela Janes what about your city how do you describe your city uh, it's dreadful to traffic now um interesting it's beautiful too. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. So, so my recommendation, Anna, and this is for everybody, when we describe a place or someone, if we say, for example, oh, the city is stressful, very good. Y luego me dijo, oh, the traffic, a lot of traffic, right? Very good. Luego me dijo, it's beautiful, yes, pero tiene que decirme por qué es beautiful. Oh, because we have a forest, Oh, we have a big mall. We have parks, you know. Mm. Well, we have an uh, interesting supermarket of Metro Centro. Um, <laughs> El Encuentro. Oh, El Encuentro. Yeah, I have one here next to my house. Yeah, there is one next to my house. Very good. Yes. So this is the way we do it, right? Eh, vamos entrando. Eh, this is pre-intermediate module number three. Entonces, vamos entrando en algo que se llama giving more details about it. ¿Qué significa esto, right? Que ya no se va a ir quedando solo con, okay, my city is beautiful and it is dangerous. Sino que va a ir dando más detalles, right? Oh, my city is beautiful because there is, y menciona, porque es beautiful. Also, my city is dangerous because... Yeah, right? So, da algunos examples, right? Yes. So, this is the way we do it when we talk about a city. Yes. Uh, let's work with Oscar. Oscar, please tell me. Describe your city. My city is beautiful, quiet, and relaxing. Why is beautiful? Um, we have uh, two parks. Uh, Big river. Yeah, across the city. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. It is a big city or a small city? A small city. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. Is it noisy or <laughs> quiet? Quiet. Ah, oh, I love quiet places. Jesus. Oh, that's very nice. So you can sleep. Yeah, every place to sleep. <laughs> Oh, that's very good. Yes. Is, is it boring? Is it boring, Oscar? Maybe if you wanna <laughs> um, uh, how do you say uh nocturne? Oh it's like like a night, I don't know, life or like if you go want to go out at yeah. night. In this in this place, there isn't. Oh, so so you don't have like a life at night in your town. Oh, that's very surprising. Surprising. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very good. Here in San Salvador, I like. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Yes, everything is crowded, noisy. I mean, we have positive things because we have a lot of pan dulce, right? Pastry which is good, but it's noisy and crowded. Okay, we're gonna have a short conversation about a place in a different country, which is 
this one okay thank you so much look at this one what is this here in this picture what is the name of this place mm -hmm. anybody what is the name of this place oh here in El Salvador is very popular mm -hmm. What is the name of this place? How do you call this one? Is this... Republica Dominicana. Punta oh, Cana. Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, right? Very good. But what is this? Is this a park? Is this a church? It's a beach. It is a beach. Very good. It is a it beach. Is a be exactly, right? It is a beach, right? In? Dominican Republic. Oh, very good. So we're going to have, it looks so relaxing. I'm going to play the audio. You listen at home and check pronunciation and also read. Here we go. Unit 11. It's a really nice city. Page 72. Exercise 2. Conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A. Listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. About 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Unit 11. It's a really nice city. Page 72, exercise two. Conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A. Listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. About 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Okie dokie, Sebastiana Guadalupe. Tell me, what is this conversation about? Um, well, it's about uh, the beach Punta Cana uh, in Dominican Republic. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Okay. What can we find? What can we find over there, Sebastiana? Excuse me? What can we find over there? Um, well, uh, the prices for tourists can be, can, pre, can be pretty reasonable. Oh, well, that's very nice. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Exactly. Okay. We're gonna have this short dialogue. Not all of us will. Um, not all of you will present because of the time. Unfortunately, we're gonna have Catherine. Catherine, you are Camila. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Francisco, you are Ron. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, detail. That photo is really cool. What is that? 
Which Catherine teacher? I'm too. I'm, I apologize. Uh, uh, Catherine Suleima. I'm sorry. Okay. That's a beach near to my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Yes, look. To the Dominican yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches. The weather is really clear, too. Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty re reasonable. It's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It's all very interesting. I saw plan a trip there sometimes. Thank you so much. Very good. Yeah. So we have pretty reasonable. Reasonable. Oh. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to have Catherine Nicole Salazar and Diana Cristabel. Catherine Nicole Salazar, you are Ron. And Diana Cristabel Melendez, you are Camila. Ready? That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Apunta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beach, beaches. The weather is really clear too. Is it expensive there? Well, it is not cheap, but this place for tourists can be pretty traditional. Um, and how far is is in from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about two hundred kilometers, a little over one twenty miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there something. Thank you so much. Very good. We have a few mistakes on pronunciation. Okay. That we improve with practicing. La pronunciación la mejoramos con repeat and speaking. Right? So that's why I insist a lot. See? En casa, con sus hijos, con su esposo, con su esposa, right? Practique esas frases. Dígale, hello, good morning. Do you have money? Yes. Porque esas frases, créame, que son cortas, pero nos dan confianza, right? So we can have confidence. Entonces, we have some mistake like uh, reasonable, uh, kilometers, miles. So we, we learn to pronounce this one by saying it, by speaking out, okay? Very good. We're going to have a little bit of the grammar part really quick. Let me show you. Okay, so as you may know, we're working with adverbs. So that's the thing we're working on. So I would like to show you a video so you can have the grammar part and then we're gonna get into that. Here we go. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. 
Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb, plus adjective. Good luck. So, <laughs> she said good luck. Okay, this is good. Okay. Oh, give me a minute. Okay, so what do we have here? Pretty much is we have the explanation about how do we use this one. We have these adverbs. This is a normal sentence, as you may see, right? And we use the adverbs to emphasize or to make, I don't know, the sentence a little bit, I don't know. We exaggerate a little bit more of the sentence with the adverbs, right? If you see here, we have the adverbs, adverbs too, extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, somewhat, okay? And... We're going to use these ones before the, uh, the adjectives. So you can normally say it's a nice place, but you can say also it's a really nice place. So you can have one sentence here, and when you use another, you can put the sentence over here. Yeah? That's the big deal. It's not something like, Okay, so you can normally say, oh, it's a really nice place. But if you say, oh, it's a really nice place, so you are like emphasizing that the place is like nice, right? You can have also extremely, yes. You can say, I am tired, yes. If you like, for example, doctors, right? And nurses, they work like, and when they get home, they are really tired, so yes. You get at home and you're tired, right? So you can say, I am extremely tired. Extremely tired, right? It's like, just to emphasize that you're really tired. Yes? So this is the way we're going to use this one. And this help us to do so, to emphasize a little bit more. Just be careful cuando tenga este que es interesting. Because it says, para la mayoría utilizamos a. Is a really nice place. Is a fairly expensive. Is not a very. Okay. Now here, when we use uh, interested, be careful because sometimes we don't use a. Ah, is really interesting, right? So we we don't use here the article. Uh, let me show you another example, so you can have it. Here we have this exercise. I have that we can uh, have it really quick. Okay. It says. Singapore and Chicago. Prices are high in Singapore. Everything is very expensive there. Chicago has an amazing skyscrapers right next to a gorgeous lake. Is really, what is the adjective? Beautiful. 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 It's really beautiful, very good. Okay, so it's really beautiful. Yes, what about the number three? What is the number three? My hometown is not an exciting place. Exactly. It's not very interesting. No, it's, it's, it's not exciting, yeah. so that means it's 
Boring. Nice. Boring. It's boring. Okay. I'm sorry. Some parts of our city are fairly dangerous. It's not very safe. Safe, right? What about the streets in this city are always full of people? Cars, buses. It's very crowded. Crowded. Very good. Crowded. Okay. So if you see, we are just emphasizing the place or the sentences, okay? Using the adverbs before the adjective. I'm sorry, it's time to go to bed. We will see you tomorrow in another English class here on Zoom. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. And good night. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye.